Hallelujah. Bless, bless. Good evening to one and all. And welcome to another program of the Apostolic Voice. I bring you greetings from our dear Apostle, Apostle Elsworth Williams, and his dear wife, Pastor Carmen Williams. The eldership, the leadership, and all the members and family of Heavenly Light World Outreach Fellowship. Amen. It is indeed a privilege to come to you tonight to share the Word of God. And I can promise you that it is another powerful time in the house of the Lord. Amen. Another powerful time on the apostolic voice. Because you know why? God still speaks. Amen. God still moves. Hallelujah. And because He is God, because He is alive, because He is our Father, we are able to stand and declare the Word of God. Amen. And so this evening, I want to speak to you from the subject, the power, power in the Word of God or power in the spoken word. Amen. Power in the spoken word. I want to reiterate that, that there is power in the spoken word. Amen. And so Jesus said in John 6, 63, it is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Hallelujah. They are spirit and they are life. Amen. And again in Genesis 1.26, it says, And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. I believe that these two scriptures establishes the foundation upon which God's children have been given the power have been given the ability to speak forth words of life, to speak forth spirit and life words, amen, and see them become a reality, amen. The mere fact that we were created in his image and in his likeness says and speaks volume that we are his amen and that because we are his hallelujah then we have the authority we have the power to declare a thing and see it come to pass see it manifested amen james 3 5 to 6 said uh, speaks of the tongue being a little member and boasted great things. It goes on to say, Behold, how great a matter, a little fire kindleth. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members, that it defileth the whole body and set it on fire the course of nature, and it is set on fire of hell. In other words, the tongue is so powerful, hallelujah, that it lies within it death and life. The tongue is fire. So just imagine when you and I begin to speak, we are speaking with fire. We are speaking with authority. We are speaking from a standpoint where we know for sure and that we are assured that God is on our side and that God is our God and that God is the one that has enabled us, that has quickened us, that has given us that sharp tongue to speak into the atmosphere and to see things happen. Amen. And so the tongue is fire. 
hallelujah, is fire. And so this evening, people of God, this evening, Guyana, we have that power because there is power in the spoken word. Amen? The spoken word from our mouth has the power to change the course or direction where we are heading. Amen? It influences changes in our environment. That is how powerful is our word. And so this evening, I want us to reflect on that. I want us to meditate a little bit more on our words and what we speak and what we say. Amen? Because it, 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 it gives the power that is needed in this season, in this hour. Amen? We can declare in the atmosphere that we will not be downtrodden. We can declare in the atmosphere that we will not be devoured. We can declare in the atmosphere that we will not be a defeated people. But rather, we can declare in the atmosphere that we are victorious, that we are triumphant, that we are excelling, and that we are accelerating into the purposes of God. And so we have that authority, we have that power, amen, to speak a thing and see it manifested. Because why? We were created in his image and in his likeness, amen? And so all power has been given unto us because we are a child of God, because we are God's children, amen? And so we see this vividly in the book of Numbers chapter 14, 1 to 39. When you have the time, you can go through it. But summarizing that chapter is where we see the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness for 40 years and died. Not because they were lost, not because, but because they legislated through their own mouths the duration of their wandering. They complained and they murmured a lot. So because of their capricious and negative mindset, because of their murmurs, because of their complaints, they altered the destiny. They altered their own destinies from a journey that should have taken a fortnight ended up taken, taking 40 years. So sometimes we ourselves cause the delay in, in our successes. We ourselves cause a delay in our greatness. We ourselves cause a delay in where God wants us to be. And so we have got to be very, very cognizant of the fact that what we speak is filtered into the atmosphere and as such it can form root and as such it will be manifested and so we have got to be very careful what we say in this hour because our words are powerful amen and so one may wonder was it in the plan of God for the for for, for the journey to take 40 years was it the enemy that stepped in? No, it was the very words that came out of their mouths. Amen? And so, with their own mouths, they have altered the trajectory of their destiny. What should have taken a fortnight or 14 days has taken them 40 days years. Sometimes we sit and we wonder why we are not progressing, why we are not moving forward, why it seems as though we are in a cycle and it's, you know, it's just one thing over and over and over and over and over again. That's because we have got to be very much careful with what we say. We have got to take stock of where we are and begin to speak the word of God, the word that is spirit, the word that is life, and be able to see that transformation happen in our lives. 
to be able to see it uh, uh, influence the people around us and uh, our environment. Amen? And so, with all that happened with the Israelites, of course, Joshua and Caleb, they were able to um, inherit, they were able to be sustained. Amen? Because their reports were different. Hallelujah. And so, they were able to enter the promised land because they released powerful words in the atmosphere. They released positive words in the atmosphere. They were positive because why? They knew their God. They knew their position. They knew who they represent. Hallelujah. You know, there's a song that says, who you represent. We represent kingdom. We represent the kingdom of light. We represent the kingdom of God. And so because we are his representatives, because we are his ambassadors, we have got to speak his word. We have got to speak positivity. Even though the, the situation around us may seem very bleak, may seem very dark, may seem as though there is no way out. But as we open our mouths and as we begin to speak what God said, as we begin to declare what God says, as we begin to declare that our future is one that is glorious, as we begin to declare that we are a holy nation, as we begin to declare that we are his royal priesthood as we begin to, de to declare that we are the head and not the tail as we begin to declare that we are not borrowers but we are the lenders as we begin to declare that we are a child of God then we we'll begin to see what God has spoken to us become a reality amen become a reality and so in other words, in just one day, in just one day, with the things that we say can alter our destinies, can have an effect on our destinies, on the outcome of where God is taking us. Amen. So we cannot afford to speak negative words into the atmosphere based on our moods, our behavior, or the circumstances around us. Amen? We have got to maintain our position. Good? Because for by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. So we cannot afford to be negative we cannot afford to be pessimists in this hour amen so what we also need to understand is that sometimes our success sometimes our progress sometimes our blessings can be held up and hindered not because we are speaking negative but because others we have allowed others to speak negative things into our lives. We have allowed others to curse us. We have allowed others to, to, to say all sorts of ill things as it relates to our destiny. You know, growing up, sometimes we hear parents tell children, you got for nothing, or you're just like your father, or your head hard, or um you don't you know these are words that we disseminate into the atmos um, into the atmosphere these are words that we speak and as such they have powers you know they say words have molding powers and so they can affect our lives in the future and so if we are not cognizant of what we are saying in this hour, we can speak such death before anything could even begin to spring up and begin to, to, to show some sort of life. You know, when the word is gone forth, when the word is spoken, it's like a seed planted in the ground waiting to 
bring forth its fruit, waiting to bear, waiting to blossom. And so when we speak words of life, we are looking to see its manifestation. We are looking to see that blessing. We are looking to see that miracle. We are looking to see our prosperity. We are looking for good success. Yes, we are looking for good success. The Bible speaks of good success because there is a success that is of the world. But then there is a success that is of the Bible, of the Word of God, where God amplifies that success as good success. When we have good success, we are satisfied. When we have good success, we feel accomplished. When we have good success, it's as though, you know, uh, uh, it is well with us. But sometimes, when we have the success that the world defines, there is always that room or there's always that, that space, to, that void. There is always that insecurity sometimes, you know. But when we experience good success, oh my God, there is no insecurities. There is nothing else but satisfaction. Because the Bible says, with long life, he will satisfy you. Amen. And so when we experience good success because of the positive words that have been spoken out of our lives, we are able to enjoy life. We are able to enter into what God has already ordained before the foundations of the earth. Amen. Amen. And so when people speak negative things over our lives, we have got to become and become involved, hallelujah, in our own destiny. We have got to begin to reverse those words. Come on now. Even if we are in the company of others and we are hearing them speaking negative things, we as children of God, we as sons and daughters, we have got to take our stand and say, hey, look, do not say this. Do not say that. Because this is how God sees that individual. This is how God sees the situation where the, 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 the ten spies came back saying, oh, they were tall and they are mighty and they are many and that we were like grasshoppers in their eyes. Oh my God, Joshua and Caleb of different spirit, they came back and they said, we can take, we can possess. It is how God sees the situation and that is how we have got to declare it in this season or else we are going to miss out on our blessing or else we are going to miss out on what God have in store for us yes you may be uh, with an ailment or so yes you may have been um, uh, for years uh, carrying about uh, an infirmity or, or, or something of the sort but today I am here to declare to you that as you open your mouth uh, and as you speak the word of God hallelujah I declare strength uh, I declare health uh, I declare that you are healed in the name of Jesus uh, no longer will you be bogged down by that sickness uh, yes every system in your body uh, is about to line up and is lining up with the word of God. Hallelujah. Every system, every organ is beginning to come into into alignment, hallelujah, just like uh, like the bones and the sinews, they begin to, to come into alignment, even as Ezekiel spoke the word, hallelujah, and a great and mighty army arose. I declare today that you are rising in strength. I declare today that you are rising uh, uh, full of the spirit of God, ready to take it on, ready to, to, to push, ready to, to go forward, hallelujah. I declare tonight that it is well with you in the name of Jesus. Oh my God, I thank you right now, Father, that even now strength is coming to those knees in the name of Jesus. Every heart, right is, we come against in the name of Jesus. Right now, that pain in the shoulder, hallelujah, it's going right now in the name of Jesus.
Jesus. Come on, church. Uh, come on, believers. Come on, sons and daughters. You have the power inside of you to speak the word of God. And I hear God says, yes, I am healing you. I am healing you. I am healing you in the name of Jesus. I even see your deliverance is coming. Yes, those who are bound by spirits, those who are bound by, 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 by witchcraft, today deliverance is yours in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It's just recent. In fact, just last Sunday, our church uh, um, embarked on a series of deliverance where Apostle Williams have started on a series of deliverance. And so it is evident that as we speak, as we declare the word, even as Jesus walked the earth and, and as Jesus spoke the word and, he, uh, and sight was restored to the blind and, 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 and hearing restored to the deaf and speech restored to to, to the dumb, uh, oh my God, and the dead lived, the, 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 there was life, uh, there was resurrection power, even so we see it manifested in this hour, as we open our mouth and as we declare it, hallelujah, it is yours, it is mine, in the name of Jesus, and so today there is power in the spoken word, hallelujah, there is power. And so we have got to reverse those things, those negative words. We have got to reverse those words that speak of death and disappointment. We have got to reverse those words that speaks of disapprovals. Hallelujah. We have got to reverse those words. And we have got to remember that by your word, you establish life or death, blessings or curses, success or failure, imprisonment or freedom by our word, by your word. Amen. Every word spoken through declarations or decrees is pregnant with power and potential. I repeat that. Every word spoken through declaration or decrees is pregnant with power and potential. In Matthew 16, 19 says, whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth is loosed in heaven. In other words, whatever we allow, heaven allows Whatever we disallow, heaven disallows. Whatever we say no to, heaven says no. Whatever we say yes to, heaven says yes. Because why? The word that is spoken is pregnant with power and potential. Amen? This is how powerful the spoken word is. It has the ability to open and close portals. It has the ability to open doors and close doors. It has that power, hallelujah, to open spiritual and heavenly portals. Amen? And so when we understand our position, when we understand that we are ambassadors in Christ, when we understand that we were created in His image and in His likeness, come on now, we have the power. All power has been given unto us. Amen? All power has been given unto us. Now let's look at David. How did David address his enemy? David addressed his enemy from a position of conviction and authority. In 1 Samuel 17, 46 to 51, you can read it in your spare time. Right? David stated, This day, this day, will the Lord deliver thee into thine hand. And I will smite thee and take thine head from thee. And I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistine this day into the fowls of the air 
and to the wild beasts of the earth. In other words, when David spoke, it has already been written, it has already been established in the heavens that Goliath is a dead man. That Goliath would have been slain with the stone to his head and his head cut off by the sword. It has already been de uh, declared, it has already been written. And so if David stood before the Philistine in the might, in the power of God, then who are you and I that we cannot do likewise? That we can face our circumstances, we can face our enemies knowing our position in Christ and speak the word and declare it in the atmosphere and know that it shall and will come to pass. Amen. And it went on further to say, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. You see, when we begin to, to speak God's word, when we begin to say what God says, all of Guyana, all the nations, all, the entire world will know that there is a God that is alive and well. That they will know that we serve that covenant-making God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. We will know, all will know that there is a God in Guyana. As we begin to declare over this land, our dear land, Guyana, that it is coming out of the ashes of the past, that it is arising, hallelujah, that the people of the land, that there is great prosperity ahead, that the people of the land, that there is great blessing, that the people of the land, there is access to land, the people of the land of Guyana, there is a great and bright future for you. Amen. And as we declare that it is so it is in the heavens. We sing one of our songs uh, that this land is your land. This land is my land. From the Rupanuni uh, to the Quarantine, uh, from the Greenheart Forest uh, to the Atlantic Ocean, this land is ours. Uh, we are here to possess this land. Uh, and so we declare today uh, that we are possessing uh, that which is ours. Uh, today uh, we are no longer taking defeat, but we are taking back what is ours. Today, the God who restores, the God who, 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 who restores, who gave back to his people, the God who restores the day, the, 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 the days the canker worm and, the, and the, the locusts have eaten, the years have been restored. We serve that restorative God. And so today, we declare over you, Guyana, every man, every woman, and every boy, every girl, that this is our season to possess that which is ours. And as we open up our mouths, uh, I believe that God is going to give us divine strategies uh, and the know-how uh, how to do and to get to where uh, he wants us uh, in this time. Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged by what may be going on around us. But today, be encouraged. Encourage yourself in the Lord. Encourage yourself because we serve a living God. We serve a living God who is able to perform and perfect the very things that concerns us. Amen. And so, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Even as we remember Elijah, Elijah spoke to Ahab. Elijah, in 1 Kings 17, as the Lord God of Israel liveth, shall not be due or reign these years, but according to my word. 
but according to my word. Many times we tend to live beneath the standard that God has ordained for us. But if we can only understand the power that we have, if we can only understand where God is taking us, if we can only understand what the Bible says, then we will be in a better place. We will be in a better place. Hallelujah. We will be in a better place and that we will be able to stand up and face our enemies. We'll be able to stand up and declare and chart the course of our destinies. We will be able to speak that word. We'll be able to see it manifest in this season. Now we have, had, we have numerous examples in the Bible. Hallelujah. But what I want us to know this evening is that daily, as we go about our daily activities, as we go about our daily lives, remember what we say can alter the trajectory of our destinies. Remember that the spoken word have power, it's pregnant with power and potential. What we speak can determine our tomorrow. Hallelujah. And so it is God's Design and it is God's will for us to prosper in life, for us to prosper, for us to prosper in every sphere of our life, health wise, educationally, emotionally, socially, to prosper financially. It is in the design of God. And so today, Proverbs 13, 3 says, He that keepeth his mouth, keepeth his life. So just imagine, just imagine if we can guard our mouth, we keep our life. Just imagine if we don't guard our mouth, what will happen to us? And so I encourage you this evening that God's word is of spirit and life. And he wants nothing more but good to come out or to be upon his people. And this dear land of ours is in the hand of God. And we even declare to the government of the day that the works and that your word be aligned with the word of God for this nation. And so today, be encouraged, people of God, sons of God, children, sons and daughters, man, woman, be encouraged that when we speak a word, we speak power. It has the power, it has potential, hallelujah, and it can alter our destinies. Amen. I trust that this evening this word was a blessing to you. For some, it's a reminder. For some, it's an eye-opener. For some, it may cause a little bit of shifting in your mind, in your thoughts. Whatever this word would have meant to you, I encourage you to let stand and speak the word of God. Let us remember that what we say can affect our tomorrow. Amen? And so we have numerous examples in the Bible that we can live by. But at the end of the day, your words spoken are words that speaks of spirit and life. Amen. So do join us this Sunday. For another service online, you can also visit us at 150 Cooper Street, Alboystown. Of course, 
all COVID-19 protocols are in effect. And so we welcome you as we continue into another episode or um, series uh, that we have started on deliverance. You bring them out, those who are uh, spiritually bound, witchcraft, um, whatever it is, you bring them out Sunday, 8 a.m. sharp. The Spirit of the Lord is in the house and God wants to deliver each and every one of us. Amen. God richly bless you and do have a wonderful and blessed remaining of the evening. Amen.